Hey guys, so this is like a really, really, really random way to start a vlog. Um, but I just got to tell you before I forget. So I'm walking down the road. I'm just going to a two-hour walk. And this is what I'm wearing, right? Shorts. I get these shorts. Show off my bum a bit. And they're quite tight. But I'm wearing Crocs. Obviously, the Crocs are in sports mode. So I'm like wearing my Crocs in sports mode, walking down the road, done like a two-hour walk. And the amount of people that have like beeped at me is ridiculous. Like, I literally look disgusting right now. I'm wearing Crocs. And someone has just pulled up their car. I'm on my road, right? Someone's pulled up their car and they're, they're going like, they're like, they're like that. I don't even know how you do that. They've like licked their lips, pulled down the window. And excuse me, miss, where can I find a nice restaurant to eat? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't know, like... I don't know why I said I don't know, but I know lots of nice restaurants. This is where I live. So I was like, I don't know. Uh, and I went to King William. <laughs> and he was like, mm, can I take you? I'd wonder if I could take you. And I was like, oh my God. I went, I don't talk like this, right? I went, nah, nah. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. I went, nah. <laughs> like, why did I say nah? I don't talk like that. Anyway, so that's my story. And then I got indoors and I've got gates in my house. And as soon as I got indoors, there was a knock at the door. And I was like, how has someone got in the gate? I was like, oh my God, he's followed me. He's knocked on my door. So I've just stood here like this. Like, and I thought, if the door, if the gate's shut, he'll be stuck in the door. So I'm like, what do I do? Anyway, so I walked up to the door and it was a Amazon delivery guy. So it wasn't him. Thank God. Also, I was walking along in my Crocs, obviously, and I have got some major blisters on my feet. I don't really want to show, I was going to show you my feet. I don't really want to show you my feet because my feet are a bit gross. So I've got blisters. I've got one blister on the top of my foot for my Crocs and another blister in the same place on the other foot. Don't know where I was going with that, but yeah, that's my story. So I really should introduce what this vlog is going to be because that was like the most craziest, you know, it really wasn't that crazy, but that was like just a random story before I even started my vlog. So. Okay. And the reason for this vlog and why I've come on here looking so disgusting, I don't know, but you get the real me. So, I have got a weekend, so it's Thursday today, I've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Comp I've just put my hand on the surface, right? And there's sugar all over the surface, and now I've got my hand covered in sugar. This is a nightmare. I cannot vlog to save my life. Oh my God. So as you can probably tell, the reason there's sugar all over the surface is because I'm home alone for five days, and I'm obviously incapable of tidying up after myself. So I am home for five days, and I'm not going to lie, this morning, my baby got picked up to go up to his dad and I'm not going up with him. So this morning, my baby got picked up at eight o'clock and then I'm not going to lie, I sat there and I got a bit upset, got a bit emotional. I was like, I'm home alone completely. My mum and dad are, and sister on holiday, my other sister's on holiday and then my friends away i am not gonna lie i only have one friend i mean i've got got loads of friends but like the friend that i would meet um is away so i'm literally so lonely and i realized it got to like two o'clock and i realized that i hadn't spoken since eight o'clock in the morning like i literally just hadn't said a single word so i was like right what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a q and a that could get to know me and then i was like Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to vlog my boring, lonely weekend because one, it will give me something to do. Two, maybe you're in the same position as me. You're lonely. You're on your own. And yeah, we can just be together, you know. It, it's, I don't really know where I'm going with this, but I'm going to vlog my weekend. I looked at the time and it's six o'clock. So where I thought I'd done two hour walk i actually done a three hour walk i went to the post office at three o'clock to drop off um 
some of my frames and scrapbooks that I make and that was at three o'clock and I've got home at six o'clock like what is wrong with me I literally just walked and walked and walked and walked and walked and then I'm like you know what I was just thinking I could do a vlog I could just vlog my day give me something to do so right now what I'm doing I'm going down to my studio I will show you my studio it's my art studio these are the this is my little trellis thing it's so pretty look at all the roses there's so many roses anyway this is my art studio um it's so messy in there at the moment um there I, there I am can you see me um it's like where I do my art that's my painting I'll show you inside but it's like so messy I want to tidy it up first because um I just look a bit like a tramp so <laughs> that's where I make all my frames and scrapbooks if you don't know you're probably watching this from um, my Instagram, which is Little Things by Annabelle, because this is like the only place that I will share that. It's on that Instagram. I'm not going to share my actual Instagram because my actual Instagram just doesn't pop off. But my work Instagram does. Fun fact: We got this fireplace. We got it um, designed to look like the Love Island one. And guess how long we've had it for? We've had it for two years now and guess how many times it's been on it's been on once we had it on at my baby gender reveal um and we all sat around the side and then my gender reveal was a firework display so we had like fireworks in the garden and it was really cool and then obviously we found out that my baby was going to be a boy which was cute that was like the best gender reveal i think like go big or go home you know what i mean just had a bath, FaceTime my baby boy. He's having a brilliant time, which is great. I don't know why I just feel so rubbish. Can't even really bother to make this vlog right now. It's eight o'clock. I am all snuggled up in bed. And I am going to have a much better day tomorrow. I'm going to put on my sleep meditation. I listen to um every single night. I listen to Jason Stevenson. I look like such a little egg now. I listen to Jason Stevenson on YouTube. And he literally just, he just does like sleep talk downs. He's literally like breathe, hold your breath and like. Uh, affirmations and like stuff like that. I'm such a loser, really, when you think about it. Like, in my head, that looked so much cooler. Like, it was so much more fluffy. But... Taste test. It's all right. I've used oat milk, I haven't got any normal milk in the fridge, so I use oat milk. It's not that great. Remind me to put on my shopping list milk because I can't be drinking these fake milks. Hey guys, it's on my makeup. I know a lot of you are thinking, who's taken over the vlog? Because I look so different, but it is me. How do I look? How do I do? I've got on a um Put on a nice outfit too. I've got this top from Manier de Bois. This like corset thing is built into the top. Not gonna lie, can't breathe. And then I've got on these flared trousers. There's my Crocs on the floor. Got these flared. And then I've got on these flared trousers, which have like tie up on the bum. If you know me, you know that I wear these trousers all the time. But yeah, just gonna leave my hair to go natural because I've got really curly hair. Um. And I'm just going to get some work done today and then who knows where the day is going to take me. Don't really know what to do with myself. This is why if you see me on my Instagram and you're thinking, oh my god, she's so pretty. And then like you come on my YouTube or my work account and you're like, who is that girl? Girl, that's not me. Girl, that's not me. I'm not calling myself pretty. Well, <laughs> well, maybe I am. It's 
nothing wrong with loving yourself. No, seriously though, there actually isn't like, you need to have, I'm all about preaching about self-love and self-care and all that good stuff, so love yourself, you're beautiful. The best thing about working from home is that I can literally work whenever I want. Obviously when the baby's here, I have to work when the baby's asleep or like off find himself, but when I haven't got the baby, I can literally work whatever hours I want. I can sit and lay outside if I want, obviously, if I get the work done. But it's also one of the hardest things, like having to time manage and make sure that you are getting everything done. Like it's, it's so much harder than people think. And also you get people that think that you're not doing it. Because you're at home, you're not working. But like, and then they ask you to do all these things and you're like, you do realize that I'm working, like, anyway, <laughs> run over. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, let's just squeeze that spot. I've not, um, I've not really done anything today. I started doing my work, pen run out. None of the shops were open because it's obviously bank holiday, so I couldn't go buy a new pen. Um, and then I went for a walk, sat on a bench, stared into the abyss, and felt sorry for myself. Anyways, now, oh, hello. Now it's nine o'clock at night. I am trying to face to my baby, but um, Luke's phone is dead, which is just brilliant, isn't it? I love it when that happens. Uh, and I've realized I haven't eaten dinner, so I'm gonna make myself some chocolate pancakes. And then I'm gonna go get into, the be into bed and get another early night so that this weekend will finally be over. I'm so upset. I've just gone to make myself a chocolate pancake. Basically what I do, I get these little pancakes that are like already in the packet. And then I get a Freddo. These Freddos are for Riley, my baby. He likes to eat um, Freddos because they're only small so he can have them. And I melt it onto my pancake, but there's only one Freddo. So now I can only have one pancake and I wanted two pancakes. Not melted yet. Oh, that's so annoying. I thought it was gonna be so good. Just poured myself a nice glow a nice glass of cold water. If you're watching this and you haven't had water yet, drink a glass of water. I'm sure that um your body will thank you for it. I would just watch back my video and I'm being very negative, aren't I? Like, although I am Having a hard time being on my own, which is unlike, which is, it's not normal for me. I normally love being on my own. So I really should appreciate this time that I get on my own. And I've decided that tomorrow I'm gonna do something nice. I'm gonna take myself up to London maybe, do something nice, get on that positive frequency because I'm being a bit miserable which isn't fun for anyone. It's not fun for you guys to watch and it's not fun for me. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. I actually um, forgot to vlog yesterday. So today my baby's coming home. So I'm so happy my weekend is ending. Um, I did end up taking myself to London yesterday, which was fun. I wanted to go see Sophie T's art gallery, but it was shut down when I got there, so that's great. I think she's moved to like Australia or something. Um, so yeah, that happened. And then I just had a little mooch around the shops. I found this really nice shop called Brandy Melville. I don't know if you've heard of it. And I went in and everything was so cute, but it caught my attention that they only have, joking, it didn't actually catch my attention. I was telling my sister how nice this brand was and she was like, yeah, it's nice, but they only have one size. I was like, what? So I, I looked around, I was like, oh my God, yeah, they have. And the only size that they have is small, so extra small. That is like so bad. So if you're watching this Brandy Melville, I think you need to make some more sizes. But seriously, like how is that even allowed? I just don't understand that at all. 
And I don't understand the logic in it. Like, how are they making any sales? Like, the majority of people are not extra small to small. But, yeah. So, that's what happened. Um, and then I just came home. And I put on some music. And I just sung my heart out. <laughs> on my own. So, yeah. That was my day yesterday. Today, I'm just finishing off some work. This is one of the scrapbooks. I'm just putting the glitter on it now. Um, so, yeah. I will show you guys all of the work that I've done this weekend as well. Because I have done quite a lot of work. Um, and I'll show you guys. And I'm going to get it all wrapped up. Ready to go tomorrow. And then when my baby gets home. I'm either going to have. Basically I don't know what time he's coming home yet. Because Luke just does this thing where he doesn't like to tell me. So it's not that he doesn't like to tell me. It's that he just doesn't know. So. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. I'm going to. Either take my granddad out for dinner. Or cook for him. When Riley gets home. Because he wants to see Riley. And I think. He will enjoy that. So yeah. See you later. Okay, so these are all of my work that I've done. This is what I do. Scrapbooks. These are scrapbooks. How cute are they? You obviously can put all your photos in them. And then these are the photo frames. They come with a actual um, frame. This is just like the bit that you put inside it. So yeah, I just need to wait for them all to dry. And then I can get them wrapped up and sent off tomorrow. But what I'm going to do now, uh, I've just told my granddad that I'm cooking for him. So I need to go down the road, get some food. I don't really know what I'm going to make for him. I'm thinking bruschetta and then spaghetti. You can't go wrong, can you? Hello, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. So, wait. I have just got... This isn't very good. Angle us better, is it? No, it's not it's good it's like swinging all over this right so i just got back from the co-op and i am going to be doing bruschetta and i thought why would i not show you guys how to make bruschetta now firstly if you don't know what bruschetta is we can't be friends secondly if you don't know what bruschetta is bruschetta is tomato oh i thought that i left the bread there it's tomatoes on basically just on bread with you can either put onions with it i am going to be putting onions with it and i'm also going to be putting some pesto on it so yes i will show you how to make that basically it is really early it's only one o'clock but i have to prep this now because i don't know what time riley's coming home i still don't know what time he's coming home which is fine doesn't matter but um it just means that I'm going to have to prep my food now because when he gets home, I will not be able to make it. So, yeah. Also, for bruschetta, I'm getting... I got these big tomatoes because I feel like it's going to be easier to dice because I actually went to a Italian restaurant the other day and I love bruschetta, right? So, I ordered the bruschetta and the tomatoes on it... Basically, when I make bruschetta, I like it to be like crusty, thin bread with diced tomatoes and it had it was on like a um pizza dough and then it had just actual tomatoes like not these ones like the little ones and it just in my opinion it just it's obviously delicious but it just doesn't hit quite like it when you dice the tomatoes so yeah i'm going to show you how i make bruschetta what you want to do you got to get out your chopping board Sorry, you can't see my head because I've moved the camera on. Yeah, right, your cooking board, tomatoes. I think we're going to do three tomatoes. We'll see if I need to do some more. But yeah, you literally just dice the tomatoes. It's not, um, it's not rocket science. Just want to say, I now know why the restaurant didn't dice the tomatoes because it is so hard to dice tomatoes it literally takes so much time but yeah let me get back to this so i've got my tomatoes all diced up uh, i'm also going to dice up uh, a couple of onions and then do some i'm going to do like a clove of garlic put that in there yeah but 
this is how I cut garlic. And if you are a chef and you're watching this and you're thinking, why is she cutting garlic like that? That's not what you do. Basically, I cut it with scissors and I do it right over the um, pot because you can get it really small, really small and really precise. But when you do it with like a knife, it all gets stuck to the knife. It just doesn't work. So yeah, this is what I do. Now for the bread, I've just got a baguette. I've just cleaned the work surface. So let's get a new knife out. I turn the grill on heating up. Um, yeah, I think we only need like half. I don't even know if I'm gonna use this much, but I should get a chopping board. Chopping board. Uh, what you want to do, where's my other knife? Oh, I just washed it up. Um, you want to have like, I think it's the best when you have it in like little bits like this. I don't know if this is going to work. This knife isn't sharp enough. <laughs> like little pieces like that. So make a few of them. They will cut up. You gotta put them on a tray. Any tray would do. It doesn't have to be a particular tray. Just like this. And then grill them for a few minutes. Not too long because a grill will burn them ASAP. You can actually put like a little light on. Ah, there they are. I can see them. It's not very clear on camera. But yeah, I can check on it because I got the light on. Hey, ho, hey. They're done. They literally went in for like, they went in for a bit too long. They're like a little bit crispy around the edge, but we don't mind. So yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a layer, of, a layer of pesto over it. And then I'm going to put the tomatoes and onions on top. I don't know why I just missed that one out. <laughs> That's not very fair, is it? We're going to put our tomatoes and onions on the top. Just oh, eat that. Not going to let anything go to waste, am I? Our dinner's made, and I'm literally just going to make um, spaghetti for like the. Oh! Oh my god. It's dead, but oh my god, I just saw that. That is disgusting. Ugh. I have to get the hoover up and hoover out and hoover that up because that is absolutely vile. Ew. Anyways, yeah, what I was saying, I'm just going to make spaghetti, so I'm not going to show you guys me making that because it's really pretty basic and I'm probably just going to use a Dormio sauce. So, yes. But my god, I'm in my studio, right? And I kid you not, a fox has just come right up to the door. I turned around, it saw me, and then it sprinted off. Let me see if it's found it. Annoying, I didn't get my phone out quick enough. But it was literally here. Came running out of that bush there, ran along there, turned around and got to about here. Turn, I turned around, because obviously, like, you know, like when you see something in the corner of your eye, and then it froze, stared at me, and then you can run off. What a story. Oh my god, though, the other day, I saved a fox's life. No, I didn't. Sorry, I saved a deer's life, a baby deer, because it was going and it was gonna get eaten by these two baby foxes. Baby foxes? Why am I saying baby? I saved a baby deer from getting eaten from these two foxes because this deer got wedged inside a gate. Literally got wedged inside a gate. So I like I heard this awful noise. I was walking to the um, gym to go swimming. I heard this awful like screeching. I was like, what on earth is that noise? Anyways, it turned out to be like this baby deer wedged inside a gate. And I thought that these foxes were like running around trying to push out the um, push out the baby deer. Turns out that they actually wanted to eat him, which I was a bit upset about. <laughs> And yeah, so then I had to call a man over and he came and pushed out the baby deer. Because I was on the phone to um, the RSPCA and they don't open till 7am in the morning. And it was like 6.30 because I was getting up early. But yeah, RSPCA. What are you meant to do in the middle of the night if like, say if that was to happen, 
I mean, probably the deer would just get eaten. Like that is just the way of life, isn't it? But um, like if a fox got not a fox, if a dog got stuck somewhere, what are you meant to do? Seriously, like in the middle of the night, RSPCA P C A aren't open. I'm pretty sure you don't call a fire brigade. I can't talk properly. I'm pretty sure that you wouldn't call a fire brigade because they'd be like, look, there's more important things going on. But like... You want to go see the doggy? Basically, we don't have the dogs here. And he keeps saying doggies because he knows that the dogs are here. But we've got these dog statues outside, haven't we, Riley? Do you want to see them? Doggy. <laughs> yeah. Doggy. What's that? I love you. <laughs> You. You want it? You're walking so clever. <gasps> yeah. Say hello. <laughs> yeah. Is it good? Very good. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Riley. It's coming to get you. Riley. Here I come! You <laughs> coming! One, two. Right, you going to bed? Say no, no, she's all wrapped up. Ah. Hello, so my video is finally coming to an end, which means my weekend is coming to an end. It has been, I'm not even exaggerating, it's been like a weekend, it's been a horrible weekend for me. I've had a breakdown every single day, but this vlog has given me something to do. And I really feel sorry for the people that are lonely all the time because, quite frankly, I've had four and a half days and I've just not been able to cope so yeah if you are lonely then it's unfortunate that you're not alone um even though it probably feels so horrible you're not alone there's millions of people in the same position but yeah um this lighting is just not the one for me um so yes, I'm so happy tomorrow. My mum and all my family come home. Obviously my baby's home now. It's just like crazy how just a few people can make change your entire mood. But yes, horrible weekend for me. <laughs> um, but I got through it. And next weekend I have... Oops. Next weekend I have the most amazing weekend planned which I will be vlogging. Um so we're going to a there's twenty-four of us going, so I will definitely not be lonely, but we're going to a multi million pound house up north somewhere. Um I'll explain more in the video in the next vlog when I know more, but um yeah, we're going to like a multi-million pound house with a cinema room, like a ma like an actual cinema inside it. Um, it's going to be so much fun and 24 of us are going, so I will definitely be vlogging that. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yes, please give me a thumbs up if you like this, if you even got this far then... Thank you, and leave me a comment, yeah, all that good stuff, <laughs> but yeah, thank you, and good night, love you.